Introduction to Python. Why use Python? The following are some benefits of Python programming. First is the readability. Python is designed to work with the English language, making it easy to read. There are a set of rules that are in place, making it easy for everyone to create a code that others can follow. Another benefit is the libraries. Python has been around for over 25 years now, and since it is one of the easiest codes to learn how to use, there have been quite a few different codes written using the system. The good news is that this system is open source so that the code is available for any programmer to use. Another benefit is the community. Since Python is so popular, the community for Python is pretty big. There are conferences with lots of networking and workshops available for these programming products and lots of places you can visit, both online and offline, to ask questions or to learn more about the program. Let's move on to the advantages and disadvantages of Python programming. Advantages. Python programming is easy to read. It uses English as the main language. It is already present in some computers. It can work with other programming languages and can test out things with the interpreter. Disadvantages. Python programming doesn't have a lot of speed. It is not present on most mobile browsers and there are restrictions with the design. Let's learn the important words in programming, particularly the Python programming. Class. It is a template that was used for creating user-defined objects. Doc string. This is a string that will appear lexically first expression inside a module, function, or class definition. The object will be available to documentation tools. Function. This is a block of code that is invoked when using a calling program. It is best used in order to provide a calculation or an autonomous service. DLE. This stands for Integrated Development Environment for Python. This is the basic interpreter and editor environment that you can use along with Python. More of important words in Python programming. Immutable. This is an object within the code that is assigned a fixed value. This could include tuples, strings, and numbers. Interactive. One thing a lot of beginners like about Python is that it is so interactive. List. This is a data type within Python that is built in. It contains a mutable sequence of values that are sorted. Mutable. Those are the objects that will be able to change their value within the program, but which are able to keep their original ID. Let's move on to other words or important words in Python. Object. Within Python, this is the end data with a state, such as value or an attribute, as well as a defined behavior or a method. Python 2000. Python 2 and 3 are the main two types of Python that are available. Python 2000 is a mythical option of Python, which allows this backward capability, so you can use it, and so the Python 2. String. This is one of the most basic types that you will find in Python that will store the text. Triple coded string. This is a string that has three instances of either the single code or the double code. It could have something like, I love tacos. Tuple. This is a data type that has been built into Python. This is data type that it, this data type is an immutable ordered sequence of values. Type. This is a category or sort of data that is represented in the programming languages. These types are going to differ in their properties. They including immutable and immutable options as well as in their functions and methods. Those are the different important words in Python programming. Thank you.